Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Tavius and we're back with another video and today I got five tips for you guys That's gonna help you improve on the game. It's really just beginner tips for people that might not know the basic things about the game So let's get into it. You guys might not want to do it You need to go to super training go to battle training It teaches you a lot of things about the game. If you were to go in here You have the battle rules one through five. You got basic maneuvers like moves step short dash fly All right, so I'm on standard controls standard controls whenever you're getting hit this is a revenge counter right you're getting hit and you press r3 that gives you a little counter but if you're on classic controls this input playstation it's double l1 or double lb but it does use two bars of the skill up there in the top left as you can see i have two go look through these because they teach you a lot of things about the game you got revenge counters throw evasions you have close range maneuvers rush attacks guard you have using super attacks it tells you what your inputs for super attacks are it tells you your special maneuvers like tagging and transformation it goes all the way from beginner to intermediate because this one here there's a mechanic that i didn't even know was in the game yeah this one when you're knocked down you can flick down the stick right before you hit the ground to recover if you're playing the game and you get hit you're probably in this scenario where you get knocked to the ground right and then you just splat and it's so difficult to get up right you're there forever so that's something that you can do to avoid being on the ground for too long you just flick the stick down and then they have another one here you flick the stick upwards to dash back at them like this and it's the same concept and now you're back in their face into the bat so there's some really useful things in here so go ahead in the tutorial and look through this stuff because it's going to be very important to know these mechanics another thing while we're here in the training mode go to the start menu you go explanation of controls this is very important you can go through all your supers and your skills to see what they do and the inputs for them it tells you how many skill points they use what it does full power charge for gohan his key fully recovers s1 automatically dodge a single attack from opponent encounter it alrighty so check this out so as you can see if you're looking at Beerus right now he's guarding right so anything I throw at him besides something that's gonna break his guard right any anything I throw at him he's blocking it. if I throw a super you know it completely missed nice good job say for example right you throw a super he's guarding so now if you go into your explanation of controls and you look at Broly's Omega Blaster Super, as you can see right here, requires in sparking, it tells you that, 50,000 key, played after a hit, and it says unguardable. Characters in this game have guardable supers and they have unguardable supers, which basically means you can't block it, it's going to eat through your block, right? So if I do his super, regular super, you can see that he blocked it, he didn't get hit by it, right? But say I power up all the way to sparking mode and then I do this he has an unguardable ultimate no matter if he's guarding he gets hit by it regardless it's gonna go through even if you guard it so if you ever wonder i'm blocked bro there's no way i can hit bro why make it hit because some characters have unguardable supers see what your moves do because it's gonna be very important it's gonna help Alrighty. so tip number three that the game doesn't really tell you this game is a game that's based around the key bars right here the yellow key bars the key bars over there right managing your key is very important make sure that you're not guarding too much because these moves here that break your guard look at beerus's key he has two bars but watch every time i do a fully charged heavy his guard is broken and now look at him he literally can't move if your guard gets broken you go into this stun state i believe you can mash buttons to get out of it quicker i can pretty much get behind him and do whatever i want right because he's in that state so make sure that you're not over guarding and you don't block these hits too much That was the funniest scenario I've ever seen. But yeah, make sure that you're not over guarding and you don't get your guard broken. You're gonna die here. I could literally do this in someone's face because he's in the burnout state and just hit him with this. Because there's literally nothing you could do about it unless he mashes his way out quicker. Like this is pretty much guaranteed. There's literally nothing you could do about that. So my tip is to make sure that you're not over guarding. A way that you can actually deal with these is if you see a charge hit, you could react with perception to counter him or you can vanish out of the way. Right before this is gonna hit, you can vanish or if you see someone doing this and you see them fully charging you can sidestep them on reaction to get behind them be careful about how often you guard in this game and don't let this happen to you don't get put into this burnout state you got to do something on defense sometimes so tip number four say you're in this scenario right they're behind you giving you them back shots right and they just start doing this and you're sitting there thinking oh my god i can't get out of this i'm literally stuck and then they hit you with a full combo and then they do this 
and then they hit their super and you just explode right there's a way that you can get out of that in this game there's a mechanic called super counter the input for it is going to be up and light attack if you're on playstation it's going to be up and square and if you're on xbox it's going to be up x and you do it while you're getting hit so say you're taking damage from the back shots you can press up and square to get out of it kind of difficult to do it's only like a two frame window to do it there we go it's that there so you press up and square and you can get someone off of you and you see how far he is after that that's something that you can start doing to get people off of you when you're taking a lot of damage and you're not using a character that has something like an explosive wave to get them off of you for key and you can do this in any anything and then you can continue your combo hit them and then go into your own little combo all because you press up and square. I got this off of pressing up and square into vanish. And it doesn't matter if they're behind you or in front of you. You can just do that at any moment during their rush attacks. It only works when they're pressing light attacks on you. Don't let people go into sparking and just constantly just mash square on you. Because it's not real. You can get out of it. Alrighty, so the fifth and final tip that I want to give you guys and that's going to help you when you're fighting people, you finally get in on your opponent, right? You rush in on them, you throw key blast, you finally get them to block, right? But they just seem to be blocking everything you do. They do this, you try to hit them, you step off to the side, right? You try to hit them, but they just keep guarding. Nothing is working, right? You want to change up your offense. There's lots of ways that you can actually mix up your opponent to try to get hits. You can like move around like that. You can jump above them and come down with an attack, which is basically just the jump. And then you just hold square. You block, you step in, pressing your dash button after. This can be canceled at any time. One attack, dash, two times dash, three times dash, four times. As long as you don't let the full square combo go away like that, you can dash. Because if you let this go through, you can't do anything. You can do this, step in, do a fake step and then throw them and the one way you can catch somebody and then that lets you go into a follow-up another little quick way that you can probably catch someone if you have key right you can do attacks and then vanish by pressing the guard button whether you're playing classic or standard you can cancel this at any moment as long as you don't do the full chain like this you can vanish you can do this vanish and then start attacking them from behind just to catch them you can do this vanish and then grab if they think that you're gonna attack because they're blocking that's something you can do you can hit one and then you could grab right do this go for a low do this go for a charge low and then you know you can continue your string like that you can do this cancel break their guard you can do this jump backwards wait for them see what they're gonna do or you can do this jump backwards hop back in and go in step back charge a key blast go back in throw buttons out and if they mash you can perception to try to counter them you can jump in go behind them and block to see what they do jump behind them and that whole perception if they mash you can go behind them like that really quickly get behind them like that there's so many ways that you can catch somebody so learn your ways that you can get in on people don't be the person that just does the same option over and over again your opponent's blocking you just continuously just keep doing this hoping that they get hit this isn't gonna hit people if they're decent at the game of course another thing you can do on offense whenever you see someone blocking normally when you're swinging right you press your buttons and then you press your key blast button and you can go into these heavy attacks, right? You can actually go into your heavies straight off of a dash. So say say you dash, press up in your key blast, right? You can go straight into these hard attacks. So you can just approach people with these hard attacks, break their guard, get a full combo. And then you go straight into your low like this. They have to guard low because you have to guard mid, low, and high in this game depending on where the attack is at. Step in, fully charge until your character flashes and go behind them. And then you can continue your combo like this charge your key a little bit and then start going in that's a guaranteed combo charge your key to where you can see it and then you can keep going when you vanish you want to do things like that so learn to mix up your options whenever you put your opponent on the defensive or else you're never going to get hits on people it's never going to work it'll do wonders for you instead of just doing the same thing say you just do this over and over again they're eventually going to smoke that. They're going to percept you and you're just going to take a bunch of damage. But anyways, guys, was kind of like off the top of my head. I don't do scripts or anything. So if you guys want to see more little tips videos like this, let me know down in the comments. I got some more stuff that, that I plan on doing in the future. If you want to see more Spark and Zero, sub up. It's Ventavious, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.